Folks, part two of our New England weekend. Kind of a shop and cook and decor. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Now, first thing, I'm going to finish and we're going to just lightly decorate the island. I'm going to finish decorating that. You see, we got a little bit going on so far. And it doesn't take much. We're going to put a wisteria up here. Look at that. Some fiddler fern down below. Just to make it special. We got our fruit on the trays and we got our lemon pound cake in the cake stand. And I'm gonna make a raspberry and strawberry puree to go with that. Maybe one over here, huh? Just to give it some spice. <laughs> a couple of ferns. We got our little arrangement from the other day. Now I like to decorate the whole thing with some plate. Here's a big one we had. They look close, but Really totally different, and I love that seashell one. That was a thrift. And then we got the little condiment ones. Look at this. <laughs> Too cute. And you see, by having different sizes, they just fit everywhere for you where you need them. This guy. Should be a spot. Maybe we don't need the the lemon plate today. Well, I don't know. It's next to that lemon pound cake. We'll move that and put him there. All right, that'll work. Oh man, I got these wonderful tomatoes on the vine and I put them in the window for a day. Does everybody do that? Oh, look at these. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm doing is my homemade clam chowder. Real quick and simple, what I've done, taking some frozen peas and carrots, thawed them out with some boiling water, okay? One cup of milk. And one cup of filtered water. All righty. Now, two cans of cream of potato soup. Cream of potato soup. Two cans. And we're gonna stir this real nice. One can of chopped clams. And yes, they're pricey. I don't like the price either, believe me. Now, once we have the soup together, of course, we have a lot of time. So that's on real low. And I'm gonna give that pepper. Parsley. Mm. 
done. Alrighty, now in the big pot I have boiling already, boiling water for our red taters. You can't have New England weekend dinner without red taters. Just gotta have them. So I'll quarter these. All right, and that's what's gonna go on the bottom. And here's the big deal. You have to know when to put everything in. If you threw it all in together, you're gonna have some mush and <laughs> some things just not quite right. This is only on four, but it's already boiling from having that lid on. Get rid of that bruise. So the red taters go on the bottom of the crab boil. Now I'm gonna take and shuck this corn and I'm sure Nobody cares about watching that. There's one already. Alrighty, we're making up that pepper tray. Cutting our green and red pepper. Everybody's a veg vegetable lover around here. We've actually probably easily eat less meat lately over the years. And if we do eat meat, it's more bird meat. You know, turkey, chicken. So I just like to make, make up a pretty tray like that that shows real well. And then we'll get a tomato sliced. Anybody that wants tomato with mayo on it. Or make a sandwich. And I tasted my clam chowder. And you know, you hear me tease about smell-o-vision, but <laughs> I wish you could taste and smell the clam chowder. Oh, boy. Okay, folks, now we're cutting some fresh cucumber for a cucumber salad. And I do a basic cucumber salad. You think, geez, they got enough to eat? <laughs> you know, not everybody likes everything, so we mix it up a bit. There's that. We're gonna put a half a sweet onion in there, and I did forget to tell you, I like to put a quarter stick of real butter in the clam chowder. So, wanna clarify that and get that in there. Yes, sir. It tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> now we're gonna cut up and prepare that garlic toast. Okay, now we're down to the garlic toast. Let's see if I make it like you make it. I got it all cut. I got it, the top was kind of pre-seasoned. And we're gonna butter it up, of course. See, I love parsley, and here's some cheddar cheese. Just a whisker to make it special. So we got our broiler on, and we're gonna pop that in. And it doesn't take long, so you're gonna wanna stay right here, you know. 
I think I had the cameras off for four minutes. That's it. Look at this. Woo! And our serving platter. You see why we need all these platters now. Okay, guys. I'm trying to time this so Angela can eat everything hot. <laughs> it's a real circus act. So, what am I doing for dessert? We have the lemon pound cake. Not good enough. I'm doing my strawberry shortcake topping, which is frozen strawberries, raspberries, a half a cap of real lemon, two tablespoon brown sugar, and I'm gonna hand smash that with a big fork. Oh my goodness, guys. Now we're getting everything ready that's going to go in. The first thing to review now, we cooked the taters, the red taters got them out of there. They're up here in the mic, ready to be just retouched. And here's our bag of mussels. Okay, now this has to be like an orchestra <laughs> because the magic time on all of this is about nine minutes. But because of the bulk of it, it's probably going to be a 11. We'll see. Here's what we're putting in our crab. Mussels. Snow crab. Smoked sausage. Corn on the cob. Pink golf shrimp. And let me tell you, they go in last. They don't need much. They're already fully cooked. All righty, let's go with the corn. The mussels. The crab legs. Overpriced, ridiculous. Crab legs, there's $20 worth right there. Normally, you would never catch me paying that. I don't know what they're playing right now, but... I had a crab boil video to do, <laughs> right? Not very fair, but we'll stop whining soon. Let's get a good seven minutes on that. Okay guys, now I put my shrimp in a suspending colander like this. I don't want it lost down in the gravel. And that'll mostly Keep the steam in. Now that's seven and a half minutes. I only want the shrimp in for three or four because we're already pre-cooked. About nine minutes. I'm turning the heat off completely. Okay, we've been ten minutes. And I checked it. I don't want to take the lid off again, but we're going to make our cocktail sauce with ketchup and Bavarian horseradish.
don't want to cheat on that either. Gives it a nice zing. <laughs> okay, we're ready to pull this colander and get the shrimp off. If you don't have one of these little beauties, highly recommend. Now we're going to get our stuff out of the pot. Whew. Sausages. Snow crab. Ridiculous overpriced snow crab. Okay, now one sign here that I'm really looking for and I'm already liking it. The mussels are popped out. Okay, this is what you want to see, of course, when that shell opens, they're done. Wonderful! Oh my goodness sake, guys, I'm going to have to take you and show you all around. So folks, that's our New England weekend buffet, seafood, crab boil. And if you liked it, give us a, a like, a share, a thumbs up. Send your aunt and uncle over. We'll like you forever. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Thanks guys for coming by. Remember, 25 years we haven't been in New England. You don't have to be there to have a New England weekend. Thanks, folks. And we'll see you in the next over-the-top Americanized video. <laughs>